Tempt me with your all. I will make you kneel. Let the victor's reign be sanctioned by the blood of the fallen.
Brother. So, it is to be defeat. Father, is that you? <laughs> Why do you weep? Because it hurts. Because I don't understand why it had to be this way. Why don't I know you? Why didn't you want me? How could I be a father when my own spared me? He left me nothing. No throne. No legacy. Nothing. And so, I had nothing to leave you. Why does that matter? Couldn't you have just been there? left you nothing? You goddamned fool! You have the one thing. He couldn't leave anyone else. You and Kalucha.
It's not over. Soroja is gone. There's no need to fight anymore. Sphine? Why are you here? I wanted to express my gratitude to you all for vanquishing the King of Resolve and delivering my people. And to express my regret for what I've done to yours. Your apologies won't bring back our dead or lessen your guilt. Still, to strike you down in revenge would trigger all-out war between our nations. More innocents would suffer. Even if we cannot be friends right now, we need to find a different path forward. A way that Tulihyola and Alexandria can coexist. I fear that can never be. What do you mean? There is no other path for us. It's too late. I cooperated with Zeralja because I needed the life force yielded by the slain to sustain the Endless. Of course, the King betrayed me, and with his army defeated, that plan can no longer be realized. But I can't, I won't fail my people. Be they possessed of flesh or no, all of them are dear to me. If there is something I can do for them, as their queen, I must do it. Sphine, we appreciate your commitment to serving the Alexandrians and have endeavoured to understand your beliefs. Be that as it may, you must know it's wrong to sacrifice our living to save your dead. I see. It's because you do not know them that you believe they're dead. They're not. So long as they are remembered, they shall never die. You understand, don't you? No matter what anyone may say, I refuse to believe that Kafkiwa's is a hollow existence. That she can simply be allowed to fade away. I am the bearer of the memories of Queen Sphine of Alexandria, and my desire to protect my people transcends all others. For them, I will do anything. No price is too high. So 
seven hells. What is it? There exists a legend in Alexandria. In ages past, faced with a calamity in their world, a clan of people used a singular power to flee to ours. The key which manifests this power answers to fervent desires, desperate, all-consuming supplications that have given rise to many a miracle. That key holds the secret to interdimensional fusion, and unraveling its mysteries was the foremost mission of the scientists of preservation. Alas, they failed to fully grasp its workings, leaving us with only partial control over it. Nevertheless, if I'm to sustain the inhabitants of living memory, I have no choice but to call upon its power. And do what with it? For hundreds of years I tried, but it was all to no avail. My benevolence did naught to protect my realm. But I can still take up arms and fight. If bloodshed will save my subjects, then I will become history's most brutal queen.
You are returned! Wait there! I'm coming down! Where's Lamachi? What happened inside the dome? So my brother is gone. Yet the danger remains, and you must soon sally forth unto an unknown reality. Hey, Connor! Lamachi, is this boy... Perhaps. This is Zorolja's son. Kulolja. I see. Time did flow differently inside the dome. If he is our brother's child, then... Kulolja, was it? My name is Kona. And I am Lamachi's brother. You're her brother? You'll find none more dependable than Kona. He's family, and he'll take good care of you. A pleasure to meet you, Kululja. A pleasure to meet you too, uh... Uncle Kona. Well... I suppose I am your uncle. But... Simply Kona will do. You're all confused, and little wonder. Rest assured, all will be explained in due course. But for now, I want to make one thing clear. Gululja is his own person. He had no part in his father's crimes. If you have anger towards Zorolja you need to express, Kona and I will gladly hear you, but you will treat Gululja as you would any child, with kindness. As we should. The boy's done no wrong. Yes. The vow of resolve speaks true. So, will you tell me what happened? Grahatia has given me a summary, but I would hear your detailed account. Can we walk while we chat? I want to see how things are in the city. In that case, let us make our way to Bright Plume Post. 
Our soldiers remain on high alert, but if the threat of invasion has passed, I will bid them take a well-earned rest.
Electrope everywhere one turns, harboring vast amounts of lightning. This place is very much alive. Kryl, try holding your earring to the terminal. No luck. Don't give up yet. The terminal reads the code. It might just need higher clearance. Gulja, would you give it a try? Me? If the King's authority is passed to you, then the gate ought to open. But I leave behind that which I've gained by the sweat of my brow. It is yours to embrace or spurn. Remarkable. A void gate is forced open with a blast of ether, and thus appears as a tear in the fabric of reality. In contrast, this is the stitchwork of a master, neatly hemmed without a thread out of place, a power to be reckoned with. But now isn't the time to marvel. If Galuljar can open the gate, then so too can Sveen close it. It would be wise to employ magics in its defense, both to maintain its stability and ward off interference. While I am able to invoke said magics, I cannot sustain them alone. I require another to channel with me, and in unison. For that role, I do humbly volunteer myself. But even our combined efforts offer no certainty of success. Might we prevail upon the two of you to lend your support? Of course. If coordination between mages is required, few would be better suited than Alizé and myself. Shall I remain as well? 
While your presence would be welcome, I'd rather you joined the expedition team. For despite our earnest efforts, the gate may well end up closed once more. In such a situation, it may fall to those on the other side to devise a method to reconnect our worlds. A task with which you are not unfamiliar, as I recall. I have faith it will not come to that, but should it? I will endeavor not to disappoint. So, assuming Wuglemart, Kryle, and Erinville are a given for this foray, I'll make myself useful here by guarding those who are maintaining the gate. Should any threats emerge from the world beyond or otherwise, I'll deal with them. As will I. Which leaves you free to head in there and do what you do best. It's fine. Really. Mostly. <laughs> Just don't let her bear the burden alone, do you hear? Done. Whenever you're ready. We'll protect the portal. Keep it open no matter what. Short of asking an Asian, we unfortunately have no way of identifying which one it is. Well, what we do know is that it's Sphine's domain, a place where she brings back those who've been lost. So for now, why don't we call it The Unlost World. Right. Let's go. How to describe the sheer amazement we felt when we emerged on the other side of the portal? I fear words do not do it justice. Before us was a vibrant world where the memories of the departed 
abided and reveled in bygone days. Living memory, or so the endless called it. How they laughed and smiled as they reminisced upon unfulfilled dreams, alive in all perceivable ways, yet knowing no loss. So resplendent was every ilm of this paradise, the words rose unbidden to my lips. All this time, it was here, the city of gold. Are you there? If you are, say something. We need to talk. Sphin. You should come here. I haven't known you long, Sphine, but I know you have a good heart. Your love for your people is proof of this. I can't let you do what you're trying to do. And deep down, I don't think you want to do it either. I want a world without suffering. A world where nothing is lost. Would that such a place existed. But the endless only grow in number, and ever more life forces needed to sustain them. Within the barrier, we have managed to curb the cycle of rebirth these few hundred years. But we've reached the limit. That is why I looked to interdimensional fusion, to harvest what we needed from your world. From your people. And with the key, we will have it. 
And once you've plundered our world of ether, what then? Will you do the same to others? All men eventually die. If you make endless of everyone, you will never have enough ether to sustain them. You but prolong the inevitable. Sveen, if you would nevertheless persist in this folly, we must stand against you. For we too have people we cannot lose, places to which our hearts belong. Lamachi, I would have loved nothing more than to work hand in hand with you to tend our nations. But fate is cruel. By the time it had brought us together, our futures had already been written. The kind and gentle Queen Sveen was too weak to serve her people, and so she will serve them no more. I will erase all memories of the living Sveen, she who has cursed me with this soft and powerless nature. Freed from conscience, I shall become a ruler that can protect Alexandria. A devourer of worlds. When two nations cannot protect their own without doing harm to the other, there can only be one resolution. It is a hard truth. But one you understand, don't you? We're out of time. The process has begun, and it cannot be stopped.
Do you remember what I said to you, before all this? That life is a series of journeys. That you must be true to yourself, for indeed, there's no telling what awaits. I don't know about you, but I certainly didn't expect to behold such sights. The future is as fluid as the water beneath us, truly. Tell me, my friend, have you ever wished to be reunited with someone who has passed away? I have. I do. But I think, above all else, I wish that they had lived. If only for one more day. One more day. A joyous one, if I could choose. I did all that I could to make it happen. I tried everything and spared nothing. In that manner, I was able to keep some few souls out of harm's way, but so, so many were beyond my power to save. What would I have done then, had I this? And you, can you imagine yourself spending eternity here, knowing no loss?
We switched on the circuits like you asked. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully, this does the trick. seen anything like it. Begging your pardon, but I'm looking for a child, a small Shibrali girl. Have you seen her by chance? You... you are Namika, aren't you? It's me, Wuklamat. Don't you recognize me? Oh, what am I to do? The child and I, we aren't related by blood. But she's as dear to me as my own. It's all right. You found her. I'm here. You? Could it be? Yes, Namika. You know these eyes, this voice. It's me, Utlamat. Oh! It is you! Oh, how silly of me! But if you're here, then that means... No, no. I'm still alive. Oh, good, good. Thank the gods for that. But what power has brought us together again? This isn't a dream, is it? It's not a dream. Or rather, it is a dream come true. I so want to hear your voice one more time. Just look at you, my Wuklamat. Stronger and more assured than I've ever seen. Such hazards you must have braved and hardships endured 
to come so far. It was tough, but I made it thanks to my friends. And to you, Namika. I'm the person I am now because you always believed in me. Because you loved me as if I were your own daughter. Thank you. Thank you. You were everything I could have asked for. The best mother. Ah, I'm so glad. Looking back, I've had a blessed life. And it was because I was a part of yours. When I lost my child to illness, I thought I'd never know happiness again. But it rekindled in my breast the instant you smiled your little smile at me. You became my purpose. My joy. You were mine too. To have this chance to speak with you again and leave nothing unsaid. I know not how or why. But I am grateful, so grateful. Where you must go, I cannot follow. But know that I'll always be with you. Take care of yourself, promise me. I will, Mama, I will. And one day, we'll meet again. I understand why Sving cannot bear to let them go. But as painful as it is to part, we're meant to live and die, to let go and let others carry on in our stead. We can't cling to everything forever. Come, let's keep moving.
sleep tight, everyone.